Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 30th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, sharing space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of imagery, we are reporting yet another M-class solar flare, almost an X-class solar flare just being reported in the last few hours. And I do believe it's from the cresting sunspot region. Having a look at it here as it's firing away on the left-hand side. A little earth to scale comparison. Amazing images here with Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you for pressing play. If you're enjoying all this information shared, please give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. It's the last 48 hours outgoing. Large sunspot groupings, Earth facing right now, and they are the M class players. Coronal hole developing in the southern region, and a couple large plasma filaments in the northern hemisphere of our sun. I'm going to be keeping an eye on those over the next 24 hours as everything seems to be crackling. Another light here, 131 angstroms. Watch for the M-class and X-class solar flares. Amongst the nine sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Quite a few coming in, having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Yesterday we watched that top one quickly crawl eastward. Amazing images. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, moderate radio blackout impacts expected. And predicted for tonight is a strong geomagnetic storm, so we will definitely see some northern lights if it's clear. Solar winds are coming in at 445 kilometers per second. Slightly up from yesterday. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, almost an X-class solar flare. Amongst the multiple M-class solar flares, the sun has been firing. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity did hop up to a 5 early this morning and is still at a KP3. Space Weather Prediction Center showing their spiral with all of the CMEs and coupled this is a forecast right up until August 2nd, as we will see solar storms pretty much from today up until August 2nd with these multiple waves of energy. Last one wasn't quite a direct hit, but definitely going to be giving us a glancing blow into the August 1st and 2nd. So heads up and look up, everybody. It's was Space Prediction Spiral here little yellow circle on the right-hand side is Earth, and as well as showing all of the other planets in our solar system and the energies leaving our sun. Now, I wanted to share here with you the DRAP, highest frequency affected regions from the elevated X-ray flux from today. Long duration solar flares. Definitely going to bring some attention to this graph. Strong pulse all across the West Coast and the Pacific Ocean right here. And that's just over the last couple hours, folks, from most recent solar flare. Heads up, West Coast, earthquake watch and warning still in effect. Having a look at Lasco 2, sharing the images. Cosmic energies leaving our sun for the past two days Halo CME there, another Halo CME, Earth directed. And then in the last few frames, we are seeing yet another coronal mass ejection coming from the southern region of our sun, most likely from that cresting sunspot region I was pointing out earlier. Amazing images brought to you by Soho. Now let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 24 hours as we're still up slightly above average around 250 earthquakes usgs is reporting and the strongest still was the 6.0 from yesterday but we're seeing some deep earthquakes in the tonga region 
uh, Huma, and as well Fiji. So largest 6.0 magnitude is the largest earthquake the last 24 hours. 605 kilometer depth earthquake today in Fiji. All of a sudden gone quiet across the Philippines plate and up into Japan. These are all from yesterday. These are new today. Daochang, China, and as well Dunhang, China, 4.7, 4.6, very close to Myanmar and the Tibetan Plateau. 5.1 earthquake here reported off the coast of Greenland, eastern Greenland, well off the coast. South American plate, South Sandwich Islands, 4.9. Deep earthquake here, San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina. Minor seismicity, the Caribbean plate, a little bit quiet for my liking. And then across the United States, still largest being the 4.9 Barstow, California. Other than that, no swarms, but still seeing earthquakes in Texas. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Quick glance at the last seven days. As we've seen increased seismicity across Alaska. Notable activity south of Africa. And all the deep earthquakes that we've been seeing over the last few days. Earthquake warning is still in effect. We can expect larger shallower earthquakes to follow deep earthquakes like this. And that's what we've been documenting here with Daily Events Worldwide for now seven years. And thank you. For all of your love and loyalty to this channel. Thank you for subscribing and pressing play. Having a look here at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our erupting volcanoes and wildfires across Northwest Territories looking across North America. There are quite a few fires that are burning through California and Colorado. Nasty air quality sweeping across Eastern Canada. Looking at South America and Central America. Multiple volcanoes through the Guatemala region, up into Mexico. Large plume coming out of Italy, as Mount Etna has been erupting violently for the last few weeks. And notable SO2 here, east of Australia and south of Australia. There might have been a volcanic eruption in the South Indian Ocean at the Heard Volcano which is right around this region here. But yeah, some big plumes east and south of Australia. Multiple volcanoes all through Indonesia helping to blow in all that SO2. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Having a look at low pressure systems coming from the north this week across North America. High pressure ridge is blocked in. Across the west coast, watch for a low to squeeze in and we will have scattered daily evaporation rains and thunderstorms all this week as extreme heat has moved in. Long range forecast, possible tropical system developing for the Carolina states. Overlooking Europe, strong low pressure system coming off of Greenland set to bring some moisture and strong winds to Iceland. And as well, waves of moisture towards Ireland and the United Kingdom before sweeping up another low pressure system from the North Atlantic. Monsoon rains continue across Thailand and India. Strong low pressure system grinding up into parts of eastern India and Myanmar has not moved for days. Quick look here at North Pacific. No major typhoons or cyclones developing here in the long range forecast. Not much moisture heading towards the west coast either. Strong high pressure ridge keeping things dry. But then looking here through the central Atlantic and central Pacific. Got about three tropical systems here that are forecast to form. In the long range forecast so stay tuned as we will be keeping you updated daily 
Now, something else I wanted to share here with you today was our upper level winds, as they do look a little bit strange, a little bit weird, as for say. Yeah, that's an oblonged uh, polar vortex in the southern hemisphere. Looks like there's two, if not three, very strong vortexes in our southern hemisphere right now. A little bit strange indeed. Compared to the north. Yes, that's right, folks. I do like to share a lot of strange things that are happening to our planet, but I like to keep humanity aware and prepared. Let's have a look around the world at the upper level winds right now. And we've got an elongated polar vortex in the southern hemisphere with a couple of other very strong vortexes beside it. That's probably why it's elongated. But let's go back to 2023, this time last year. And this is what our polar vortex looked like in the South Pole. So last year and this year. 2023 and 2024. Stay tuned, people. Stay safe and healthy. And thank you all for following along with all of this amazing and documented information for humanity. It's all about staying aware and prepared during these very drastic and ever-changing times on our planet. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.